Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I got some more heartbeat moments for you. That's right. Today's topic, however, or videos and video topics, is Amelia Earhart. It's possible that an 87-year-old mystery has just been solved. Now, it's still, it's only possible. But there are sonar images coming out from a company called Deep Sea Vision that may or may not have found Amelia's Earhart's Lockheed 10E Electra aircraft in the Pacific Ocean. In particular, it was found about 100 miles away from Howland Island, which is kind of in between, you know, that island and Hawaii, which is roughly ballpark where they were supposed to be. And here's the thing, it was 16,000 feet below the surface, so it wasn't exactly in shallow water, but uh, they've got some sonar images coming in, and it looks pretty darn convincing, not going to lie. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Amelia Earhart, uh, the first lady that wanted to circumnavigate the globe in a, in an airplane, and 87 years ago, that was a hell of a thing. She also had her navigator with her, Fred Newton, who has also been missing, and there have been theories and just mystery and theory and theory and theory for years. Nobody knows what happened to them. This is a possible clue or a possible needle in a haystack. We'll see. So anyways, let's get right into the videos. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are. We're in my heartbeat here on h.ki. Links in the description below. And you'll see here that I've got a whole bunch of moments. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on moments. And then when I flip through it here, you'll see I've got some Amelia Earhart moments. Now, most of them are from one video, but I've got another one from another one that I wanted to show you. So let's just start going here. I'll click on the first one and let's get cracking. She vanished flying her twin engine aircraft in 1937. Now, one man bent on solving the mystery believes he's found a major clue. All right, so there we go. Like I said, she disappeared 87 years ago. She was the biggest star almost the female star in the world she was like today's taylor swift she was just a rock star uh she had done so many trips across the atlantic ocean she had done uh pacific ocean and bunch of trips across north america like one trip across north america for sure maybe more uh, just an absolute star and here we go uh this guy here romeo is his name how cool is that thinks he found it let's go to the next uh let's go to the next one here the next moment Romeo believes this sonar image could show Earhart's plane, which was never recovered, at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. So there you go. He's He was out there in his $9 million underwater submersible running, looking at images, doing sonar images, and they came across this. Now you're probably wondering, why didn't he just send a camera down here? But they actually found it 60 days after because they had so many images going through them uh, that they were going through them. And then it wasn't until 60 days into their... Uh, expedition that they saw this image so there you go that was a look at the sonar image and of course I had some at the beginning here now let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say here well you'd be hard-pressed to convince me that's anything but an aircraft for one and uh, he's confident two, that it's not Amelia's aircraft Romeo so he's pretty darn confident now keep in mind that he's got 11 million dollars of his own money invested in this so it is in his best interest <laughs> to hype this up so you can't exactly look at this as objective but impressive nonetheless let's skip forward a little bit here let's see what the data caught where the team was reviewing the sonar data collected by a state-of-the-art underwater drone when something caught their eye i mean it was a surreal moment a sonar expert telling nbc news it's too soon to say for sure that the images show a plane yep. let alone air hearts but that it's an exciting possibility worth going back to confirm so there you go so uh you know a sonar expert is a little bit more you know not quite as jubilant so to speak but they've got to they've got a, a really good looking shot there it's in the right area 100 miles from howland's or howland island it's a it's 16 thousand four hundred feet deep like it's kind of where it's supposed to be so anyways let's click forward and let's take a look at the next moment here no other known crashes in the area um and certainly not of that era um so that's a good point here he raises there was no other known crashes in that area apparently there was a float planes were were ha were stored on howland island uh during world war ii but there's no real there's no, I guess, history of anything being shot down in that area in and around that time. So it's, it's better. It looks better for it being an Amelia Earhart type thing. So let's go forward a little bit more here. 
which was taken about 100 miles from Howland Island, halfway between Australia and Hawaii. Earhart and her navigator expected to land there in July 1937 for a refueling stop on her journey around the world. So that's the exact area that, or you know, pretty close to the exact area where they found it. And again, this is kind of in keeping where they thought that the plane might have gone down. If you're a huge Amelia Earhart fan, there's uh, there's a potential that they were, uh, her and maybe Fred Noonan, her navigator, uh, were washed up on an island and became castaways on Nokomuro Island, uh, which is in the vicinity. So you never, ever know. Maybe they swam to it. But uh, here we go. Let's let's click forward to the next moment here. Rio's team will return to the site, hopefully later this year. So the next step is confirmation. Then there's a lot we need to know about it. And it looks like there's some um, damage or, I mean, it's been sitting there for, for 87 yeah. years at this point. Hoping. So there you go. He has to return to it. They've got to send a, a camera down, an ROV. And again, they didn't they didn't see this image till 60 days into their, I believe they're 90 right into their expedition. So uh, it made it very difficult to do that. So that is the first set of heartbeats that I wanted to show you. I've got another one here that I wanted to add to it though. I'm gonna go to my heartbeat. I'm gonna go to moments and then here we go. I just selected one moment here from this one because uh, there's a lot of similarity in the different newscasts, but check this one out. Look at that. This is the interesting one. Look at this image here. This is the, uh, the sonar image and then this is the uh vega what is it a 5b that she was flying i can't remember the name of it but i think it was yeah the 10e electroplane sorry it wasn't the 5b uh so i mean pretty convincing especially if you look at the uh the wings and the tail i don't know these look a little bit more uh straight to the side and these ones look a little bit backwards but again i'm no expert in this area so Anyways, I wanted to bring that to your attention, but that's today's news. It's a pretty big deal. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.